Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guy video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Corel Draw colorizing without a mask. Uh, in a couple of previous videos we showed how you can use the mask in Photo Paint to create a couple of very cool colorizing effects and it's an extremely good way to um, edit your photos and create the effects you want using the different mask tools that Photo Paint gives you access to. Uh, this is just another way to do something that gets you a similar effect. So hopefully by learning the different methods you'll then have a lot in your arsenal so you can apply it based on the project that you're doing. So here's the uh, same image we used in one of the previous tutorials. I've brought in the graphic and created a duplicate. You'll see that here in the object manager. I have two copies of it. Uh, the bottom layer is going to be the main image. So we want that to be in grayscale. So it gives us that black and white effect that we want. And then we're going to take the color layer, remove everything we don't want to create the colorized effects. And so I click on the bottom layer, which is underneath, click on bitmaps, go to mode, and I'm going to choose grayscale. Now that's converted it to a grayscale, so now it's a black and white image, but we can't see it because it is underneath this current image here. Uh, what we need to do now is prepare this so that we can do what we want to uh, in photo paint. The big thing to remember is that JPEGs that you work with uh, natively does not support transparency. So if I take a, a JPEG and cut a hole in it, it's going to just be white. So using Corel, we can essentially convert the bitmap to a bitmap uh, of a different sort that allows for the transparency to occur. So I'm going to go to bitmaps, I'm going to convert it, select the transparent background option if you need to, and if this is CMYK you can change it to RGB for our tutorial, doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to say OK to that. Now it's converted this graphic, so now when I hit edit bitmap, um, it, you know, it'll take us to photo paint and allow us to do what we want to do. However, what I'm going to do simply because we want just the eyes, I'm going to crop my photo first. Hopefully this won't be uh, too disturbing for anyone uh, as I get in close and you know cut out part of her head here. Um, so I've cropped in around their eyes. I'm going to double click that. You can now see the background layer and the color layer, what's left of it. So here I'm going to hit Edit Bitmap to open Photo Paint. Photo Paint opens up. I uh, centered it up for us here. And now all I'm going to do is keep it real simple. I'm going to use the eraser tool. Um, set the nib size to something useful and quickly erase you know large chunks that I don't need and remember all we want are the color part of the eyes to do our colorizing effect so um, we don't need to be you know particularly careful about you know much of the image uh, I'm going to shrink the nib down get in here and again I'm not being as careful as I would be on a you know actual production uh, type of project. Don't want to waste your time while I dink around with this too much. Uh, also remember you've got the feathering option. You can set that higher or lower uh, if you feel that it's getting too jaggedy around. If you're looking for a smoother looking, you know that what they call the, the anti-aliasing look. Um, you know if it looks too rough for what you're working on, just go ahead and set that up higher. You just have to remember that uh, the higher you set it, the more sort of uh, collateral damage, if you will, occurs. So um, you know, alter your nib size accordingly to make sure you're not uh, erasing stuff that you don't want to have uh, removed. And just zip in here real quick. Sort of balancing, doing a good job versus making it quick for our tutorial here. I won't worry too much about it. And so that kind of looks a little bit creepy. Um, now all we have are the eyeballs, the browns of her eyes, if you will. Um, but when I save this back, it'll go back to Corel. Uh, it doesn't jump you back, but it saves it back to Corel. And so now we can quickly see that she has, you know, black and white image, but we've got colorized in the eyes. So that's a pretty easy way to do a colorizing effect 
uh, using the the same photo itself. Now, again, if you really wanted to, you can uh, use Photo Paint to tweak things a little bit further. So back here in Photo Paint, you know, you can get into the effects of uh, actually changing the colors. You can adjust things, um, you know, and play with a little bit. So I can go into say color balance, and this is obviously you know just a a goofy way to do it, and I've already played around a little bit. So I've got this uh, hardcore green here. Uh, and so I say okay to that, I go, wow, you know, that's really quite harsh. I'm going to hit save, we're going to go back to Corel and take a look. You say, whoa, not what I'm looking for. Well, it isn't far off if you think about it. I can now take this layered, this is the top layer of her eyes, and go to the transparency tool, go to uniform, and then play with these settings just as, as I need, and all of a sudden you've got a not that bad colorized effect. Uh, obviously, you know, you would be careful and make sure that it's really well done in terms of, you know, getting what you need removed properly. This was just done in just a couple of minutes, but uh, you can see that I was able to quickly take a couple of photos, you know, cut away what I didn't need, colorize what I needed to, using transparency, come up with an effect, um, you know, that is not half bad uh, when you think about how long that took me. Thanks again for watching this Your Business Card Guy tutorial. Today we talked about colorizing without using a mask, simply using photos and some uh, creative um, editing, essentially. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, check us out online at www.yourbusinesscardguy.com.